In this key video, I'm going to compare Snappa versus Canva. Which one would be the best? So both of these platforms are, yeah, photo editing a software for uh, web-based, so you don't have to download anything. Canva is completely free. You can use Snappa for free as well. Canva has a pro plan that you have more templates for free or templates that are available, um, elements, custom, and all that stuff. That's what you get when you go for the pro plan. Snappa also has a paid plan. And basically these uh, platforms, Snappa and Canva, are both very similar. I'm going to show you the main similarities and differences these have, which one could be the best for you and which one is the best in my opinion. So I'm not paid by Canva, I'm also not paid by Snappa. This is just my uh, personal preference, just, just my, um, my own, yeah, what I think is the best. So let's start with Canva. As you can see, Canva looks very uh, very easy to use. I like the simplicity of Canva. And you already, when you go to these page, you see everything and it's really easy to understand. So if we just go to, um, yeah, let's say we want to create a logo. We can just hit logo and then this logo comes up. Now we can create it here. So here we have some templates. So let's select the template we want. We can type it in here, but let's do a gaming logo, logo for now. So this is the template that we can edit. So we can change this um, text to DX, DTCT, for example. Gaming, you can change this. You can change the colors of this one. You get the point, it's really easy to customize from a template on Canva. We can also upload things, so you can upload any any picture you want, and it's not going to cost you any money to do that. We also have some custom photos here, we can add, we can change the background, for example. We can delete this one, skip tour, and we can add a new background here, just like that, and then we can set send to back so as you can see now this is the background with these stripes like that and you get the point you can just customize this however you want from templates and if you're not really very tech savvy you can't do uh, photoshop then this is a great option if we go to snapper you can see it's quite similar and it's actually it's actually almost the same so if you just want to go for a facebook post for example we can select a template uh, same as canva or we can start from scratch but let's do a template as we did on canva there we go and as you can see here we can edit it from here so we can change the font the size everything like that and the biggest difference here is that Snappa is maybe a little bit more complicated and complex i would say canva is easier to use especially if you're not tech safe, if you are a beginner. And I don't say that Snappa is bad, it's a great um, software. But I switched from, from Snappa to Canva because I think Canva is better because it's more, um, you can do more things with it, you can customize it more how you want, you can add more specific things, you can add more customizable things. And on Snappa, you can do that as well, but it's a little bit more limited. So we go ahead and uh, compare the pricing. So let's hit upgrade now here. Free plan, which is, in my opinion, good enough. There's no reason for you to go to the pro plan or the team plan. I think for the free, if you want to go for Snappa, free plan is good enough. If you go to Canva, there is one paid plan. We have, well, actually there's also enterprise, but if you want to go for a paid plan, then we have pro and pro is definitely worth it. I have pro as well and it's great. You can do so much with it. You can do basically everything that you can do in Photoshop, but then for beginners, just like this, super easy. So I would definitely, I'm sorry, I would definitely choose Canva pro uh, for only 12 euro a month so that's not a lot you can get it in the link in the description it will bring you over to canva but this is basically my recommendation i would choose canva over snappa and if you want to go for more video or photo editing go for pro if this video helped you out please leave a like please subscribe and see you next time have a good day